Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to go ahead and install um, Pro Builder, uh, Polybrush, and ProGrids just to get us started on using this particular asset. All right, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Um, I'm sure you guys have already just already know how to install these things, but for those who don't, for those who may have an issue with doing that, let me just go ahead and walk through that again for this particular version, okay? So Unity is moving um, away from this particular thing. As you can see here, the asset store has moved. This is in the 2020 version of Unity. So you're going to have to start thinking about um, how you download your assets, how you install different things by using the package manager. I think the package manager is awesome, and so um, let's just start utilizing it. So the first thing you want to do is just head over to Window, and then you want to go into the package manager here. All right. And then once you're inside the package manager, you want to give it a little bit of time to load up uh, some things. Now you have this area is called packages and project. You can sort that sort of thing. You also have this advanced option here. Okay. Now you have your thing called packages and project. So in order to see Pro Builder, what we're going to need to do is go to all. Okay. And then once you go into all, you can either type in or search for Pro Builder. So we should be able to go Pro Builder or Pro, and it's going to bring us everything, of course, that way. So we have Pro Post Processing, Pro Builder. Perfect. All right. So if I drop this down, uh, it just gives us some information. Uh, this one is 4.2.3, and this is verified. Um, you also see other versions. We're not going to mess with these other versions, but if you're having any issues with any new release, then you kind of need to go back a version. This is going to give you that option to do so. Okay. So first thing is you select this. Um, you can click on the more to read some information about it. Um, you can click on this to download and import some samples um, and just some more additional information. But at the very bottom here, what we simply want to do is click install. Now, Depending on your network, depending on your system, um, this can take, you know, three minutes, five minutes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit install and let's see how long it takes. But I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of that. All right. So install. And then you just want to kind of let it load up. And uh, once it's installing, it's just going to take a little bit of time and, and go ahead and do that. So I'm going to pause the video. You can skip forward or whatever. Just wait until that is done all right so that's done already on my side um, just so you know for reference that took about a minute for mine to install it could take a little longer for yours um, but it just depends but just let it continue continue to load it up until it is completed now this version of unity that I have loaded up is URP um, because I do believe that uh, that's basically where Unity is going with it. It's going to be either URP or the high definition render pipeline. So I always now start up and create a URP uh, version. So what you can do, um, you see these samples, you can install these universal render pipeline support or I guess examples or whatnot if you feel you need to. All right. So the next thing that we want to install, I believe, would probably be maybe Polybrush. So let's see if that is here. So I'm going to go poly, polybrush, verified, awesome. So that is listed here as well. So all we have to do, of course, is select it. And the only really version they have is the this one here that's listed as verified. So that's the one we're going to install. So I'm going to go ahead and hit install, and then I'll see you guys on the other side. And it shouldn't take that long. So. All right, perfect. So it looks like Polybrush is installed. Again, that took probably a little less than a minute. Um, hopefully that took about the same time for you. It's, it's not that big of an asset to install, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, so the next thing we want to install is going to be ProGrids. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So now what we need to do is install ProGrids. Now before in the previous uh, 2019 uh, version of Unity, you would simply 
go to the advanced and you would show preview packages now in order to see preview packages because progress is a preview package in order to actually show that we need to do one simple thing all right so the first thing you need to do is go over to edit and we're gonna go down to project settings we're gonna select on package manager and we're gonna enable packages uh, preview packages and then you just go ahead and hit understand and once you do that we can go ahead and close this um, it's going to enable all the different preview packages here as you can see alright and so now if we type in pro we should be able to get progress listed here it's currently in preview and so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is install this as well so let's go ahead and do that so just hit install just like before and I'll go ahead and see you on the other side I'll skip that installation all right great and that should already be done for you it took less than a minute um, very quick very easy and simple all right perfect and so this is unity 2020 this is kind of the process right now with basically installing ProGrid, polybrush and um, pro builder of course and so let's go ahead and just verify where those are located once we install them all right it's great so at the very top here you're going to see where it says tools you just go ahead and click that and you're going to have all three listed um, there you're going to have pro grids there and if i go to my scene view you're going to see the pro grids menu here okay and if i go to tools and i go to polybrush or pro builder we're going to go ahead and click on pro builder window that is here as well so that is working great all right and the same thing we go to tools and go to polybrush window that is here as well all right so i hope that was useful um and um i hope that you know gets get you guys going and i will see you guys in the next video we're going to start talking about the tools again and we're going to start talking about the new poly shape tool and poly brush and all types of things all right i'll see you guys in the next video hey guys if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this feel free to click the subscribe button i love creating videos to help people learn new things and I do this really just hopefully to keep you encouraged throughout the process. And I do truly believe we can learn from each other. But as always, the one thing I want you to leave here with is to never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.